and welcome to the Red Men TV. International football is over till March. I am excited. Premier League football is back. Liverpool against Southampton at St Mary's at the weekend. I'm joined by these fantastic group of bearded fellows uh, and, you, and me, who is trying his best to do Movember but failing <laughs> miserably. Um, look, I'm excited about Premier League football, Sam. Yeah. This game is massive, though, isn't it, against Southampton? Yeah, mainly as well because they're playing so well. They've kind of come. They've kind of come out of the shadows at the beginning. Everyone was like, "Are they going to be doing it?" Because they're like comeback kids every time someone they, takes. They've lost the last two games and drawn the one before that. Yeah, I just saw it there because yeah. I've been thinking as I well. Think good team, good, but then you see who they're oh. playing against. They are a good team, and aren't that? they're going to be. They're, they're a top but, ten okay, team. Okay, but they are, and they're, they're in a top ten, 10 team. Really now. Exactly. I agree with that, but they got beaten by Hull. Yeah. At Hull, two yeah. one in the last. We game got the beaten Premier by League. Burnley, and I wouldn't like want. I wouldn't want people to. I, I I know what you're saying is in the last couple of results haven't been like top four, but people can't deny that some of the football they've been playing they're a tricky team to they're a tricky team to play against. And I think coming back after the international break, our last result was the nil nil draw against Man United, and you could say that it's all because of how much pressure was put on the United game, and it was just all this talk before the game and it ended up just f falling flat. But equally to that, you could say some, it had something to do, I don't know, but you could say it had something to do with the international break. So it's really important now, given the fact we just smashed Watford 6-1 last time, that we pick up our momentum from that. Because yeah. some of the squads stayed together. And so they'll, have that, they'll still be talking, not talking about that, but they'll still have that in their mind. They've just been training since then. They won't care about the international footy that's just been on, will they? They'll have all been together. They'll have been playing. They'll think great, we've just had that great result, we're going to knock on now against Southampton, we'll get a result against I, I think them. you're right there. Look, before we go before we go too much further into Liverpool talk, we do want to win some money for Redmen TV, so yes. Ben Victor are doing their golden goal again, where you can win £25,000. The game that they've picked, it hurts me to have to predict for this one, it's Middlesbrough against Chelsea. Uh, we'll come on to that later on in the show and give you our predictions and stuff, but get thinking about it now in the comment section, how you would spend the £25,000, and maybe Maybe you'd like to give it to us so that we could improve the show and the channel for you guys. Uh, getting back into it though, Johnny, <laughs> it's not been a great end to the international break for us, has it? You know, Lallana's potentially picked up an injury, Henderson took a little knock at the end of it, and Coutinho played 85 minutes for Brazil in their game. Yeah, I, it was Lewis, wasn't it? Lewis jinxed the shit out of them. I saw his little uh, extra time show when he was made up, no one was injured. We were all made up, no one was injured, but you know, it was the start of the day. You should have just not said. So uh, but, um, how do you think Liverpool, look, if, if Adam Milan is injured and stuff, how do you think Liverpool approach this game? Uh, chance, sound, in it? I don't yeah. really, I don't mind. I'm, and I think Henderson will, will be all right. Um, Even after so I'm, I'm happy minutes. with, um, yeah, but uh, Coutinho as well. Like, I, I don't really think there's a problem with these lads no, I think playing, it's just especially it's yesterday. Friendly, isn't it? And you just kind of think, look, they put in the maximum effort for. and they actually, like, they put in a shift. Like, don't yeah. get me wrong, but... Um, you know, I think I'm, I'm really happy now with if Chan can replace yeah. Lalana or Wijnaldum, I'm not that worried anymore about it because he's ready. We've got four first choice midfielders there now, and for this reason exactly. So even if Lalana is all right, ish, you won't risk him. He'll just leave him on the bench. Maybe bring him on second half. I don't know. As for Coutinho, again, like the the lad is playing that well. That is like if he played every day, I think he would just get better quicker. So I don't really mind that he's and he was, was instrumental like, for mean, them as well. He's only he's only arriving back in England on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, yeah. That means that he potentially train Thursday. The team will travel down to Southampton on Saturday. So coming back, John, with one day's training, is he a player that you think Klopp will risk? Is he that important to us right now that we are going to throw Coutinho in for every single game, or is there an option to change it up a bit? I think both options are viable. I mean, for me, uh, if he's if he's happy to play, I think he starts. I think it's just the way it is. The form he's in, he scored for Brazil while he was away. Um, so for me, if it, I think it's a conversation Klopp needs to have with him, see if he starts. But but if we need to change it up, there's options off the bench. I mean, e everyone's played, and obviously Sturridge played for England as well. But you could always start him up top, move the front three around a bit, and drop maybe for me, you know, a bit deeper into midfield or whatever. Or you've got the option of Chan. He didn't travel to Germany, did he? So. He could do either. For me, though, like I said, like, if, if he's fit and he's willing to play, which I think he will be, I think he starts. Was well, it? For me, no. No, Coutinho. Oh, Coutinho, yeah. yeah. Mm. yeah. Is, that, is, that, is that everyone in agreement? 
on that, if yeah. Coutinho's ready well, they, to play, you, you would play him. Well, they got the playing back, haven't yeah. we? We've, we've done a deal with Man City and Chelsea, and Chelsea yeah. to get them back. And I kind of feel like if they, it, it, it's the Saturday, it would have been nice, not for us because we want to see the match on the Saturday, but for them it would have been a bit better if it was the Sunday. But I kind of feel like I, I just if, if they're fit and if they're ready, if we were playing midweek football, I'd expect them to be starting probably. And I know it's different because they haven't been training with the team, but they've had that kind of like instilled in them now, haven't they? We've seen how much the um, pre-season and the training regimes, you'd hope that they don't, need much training to get back in the mindset of what Klopp wants because you see that they're doing what Liverpool like what they're doing for Liverpool when they're away they're playing that way you see when Lallana Sturridge and Henderson linked up for England mm -hmm. it's in their mindset to play like that now so I think it's a bit of a different thing when you come back to play for Klopp because they're all in that mindset and they're all gel gelling so I okay, think if he leaves them on the bench yeah, just to not, maybe to yeah, put them on yeah. second half that's fine as well because you might think, all right, Sturridge has played well again, and you can still use Daniel Sturridge, quality know, player, and he hasn't travelled that far. I know He's here, so he might leave him on the bench, put him on second half. If he but if he does start him, it'll be because yeah, I feel good, and maybe Coutinho at the moment, even at seventy percent, is still like better than everybody he's, else. He's going to travel with the squad, isn't he? And it's yeah. like. If that's if that's on the bench waiting for your second half and you're Southampton, is that even more of a worry for them? Sturridge you know, likes Southampton as well, doesn't he? Like, he's hey, look, Sturridge, but Coutinho's been in even better form against Southampton. Mm. Hasn't he? I think his last four visits to St Mary's, he scored in three of them. Mm. And he scored three goals in those four games. So this is a player when we're talking about Phil Coutinho, who plays well in that stadium as well. And you know, we know that he's a massive part of what we're doing at the minute. And you know, equally Sadio Mane and Roberto Firmino, the goals are coming from all over. I just remember that after the last international break, mm. he did rest Phil Coutinho, mm. um, and we played against Leicester, and Daniel Sturridge started up top, and we put four past yeah, them as yeah. well. So there's the, there's that at the back of my Firmino mind. played that game Firmino as well, played, didn't he? Yeah. I think Firmino as well because he didn't get he didn't battered get with 180 no, minutes. He didn't yeah, play for, like um, Brazil exactly. did he in the second game. Yeah, exactly. You know? And he only played. He came on as a sub in the first one, I think. So he'll be, he'll be. The one I reckon like it. I think so. And listen, I wanted to ask you, you guys. Obviously, we wanted to talk about the back Victor, and we'll we'll do this as as quickly as we can. But the twenty five thousand would be a massive thing for 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 Redmen TV. What would you use that twenty five thousand on for Beth Victor, Sam? Uh, I, I've been trying to think of things that be constructive and po positive for humanity, but then I came up with a boat for myself <laughs> um, <laughs> because I live in New Brighton. Um, which for people who don't know is uh, like the bottom of my gardens, the Mersey, and I could just pop across, and I think it would be, it would just make my life a lot better having a boat, and I'd like that. I've always wanted it. I've always had dreams of me. Twenty five grand. I'm not going to get a super yacht, but hopefully, if I had, if it was wide enough for me to kind of like lay on the back, you know, in the catch some. I can't tan either, but like lay in the back, <laughs> you know, that get I'd, rained I'd, on, get in rained New rained on in New Brighton, then that'd be happy. I've always had a dream of a boat. So a modern yeah. family save vibe. humanity with something charitable or like a boat. That uh, uh, who are you picking in the Chelsea Middlesbrough game? I said to you, if Diego Costa's fit, I'd go for Diego Costa anytime to score and just do a safe bet. And think yeah, that but that's the, the, know, like the thing you the have best. to pick your minute. I have to pick so it's my the minute. first goal score and the minute that the first goal comes in. Twenty six minutes. So I'm going to go for Diego Costa. Okay, Johnny. Tell us you've been fast starters. Yeah, exactly. I uh, I went early last one. I went early for the last one. Yeah, I know. At Middlesbrough, it could be one of them eighty seven minute. Negredo back post 1-0 middle 87 minute Negredo back post okay, good, good luck with that one Johnny um, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm in a fantasy uh, I'll go with Victor Moses 24 minutes I think there's a few doubts over Costa and Hazard yeah, I think yeah. Moses has been in good form so. Yeah, I've gone for Michi Batshuayi thinking that if one of them doesn't start he might go into the lineup. I've gone for the ninth minute and just for the confusion factor and to get rid of that that's 8 to 8.59 that's when he has to score yeah. so I'll be looking yeah. at that game and I'll be praying that the first goal comes in there from Michi Batshuayi and with the £25,000 what would you spend it on John? Um, I was having a think about this after we did the last umbu. Uh, it's that time of year, you know, you're getting near Christmas, you're starting to get all these fucking horrible programmes like X Factor do thingy. And on the way this morning, uh, The Longest Time was on by Billy Joel. Have well, you ever heard that song? It's all a yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd get us all singing lessons and we can do a charity single for Christmas. That'd be, be, a good, be a good use of the money, a bit of exposure. I'll teach you. Know. you. If it's me, I'll do put the singing lessons out there. I've, I definitely need the singing lessons. <laughs> <laughs> We've done some 
singing stuff and dancing stuff on this channel in the past. <laughs> and, you know what? I'd be quite happy to go with that. I'd have probably just spent the twenty five thousand on hookers, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, but I'm married, um, so I can't do that, and I'm not allowed to do that. Yeah, but, I was yeah. thinking like from the hundred and twenty to twenty five. Now it seems a bit. Well, the thing is, it's one, isn't it? You don't have to. You don't have to join up. You don't have to pay any money into your account. So twenty five thousand for just guessing something seems pretty good. Yeah, yeah. you're not getting on my boat. Back to Liverpool. (laughs) Back to Liverpool because this is what we're really talking about. The midfield we've spoken about. um, The Southampton midfielder Ariel Romeo. Mm. Uh, the defensive midfielder they, they brought him in last season yeah. didn't he? he's had a bit of a stop start career really hasn't he you know he, he was at Chelsea picked up some massive injuries Benitez then left Mourinho shipped him out I think it was to Valencia or something like that he played for Barcelona back in 2010 as well he's a player with good pedigree and this season for them he's really solidified that midfield hasn't he lads and mm. you know they're playing John quite a narrow um, almost a diamond in midfield. Mm. I personally think that the way that we're going to get around that is start to use the width with a Mane or a Firmino or a Coutinho. Is that something you can see this Liverpool side doing against this Southampton team? Very much so. I mean, I think we were talking about the, cre- the creeping, maybe, maybe the worries over the midfield and maybe Milner. This is the game where Milner steps back into midfield for a little bit if there is a doubt. But that width, you know, I don't, this might be a game where Moreno starts or, you know, you make, you're looking to make use of that pace down that mm. side. But um, we know as well as anybody that if you play a diamond in midfield, you're looking at to have your four backs do stuff, you know what I mean, to get you with in your team. And that's the thing where Klopp will look to go for them, you know what I mean? We've got pace on one side in Mane. Um, maybe he'll look to balance that, like I say, with Moreno on the left side to give us a different shout, actually. Mm. Yeah. And it's something that we'd, we'd probably need to do as well, Sam, because when Southampton were in that good form earlier on in the season, you talk about, I think they went five unbeaten at one point yeah. uh, at the sort of back end of October or middle of October. It was their full backs pushing on that really gave their team the width, and, and that's how, how they attacked. So it's important for us to pin those full backs down, isn't it? I think the only thing I'd say against putting, like, starting Moreno is that the fact that normally when we've talked about him doing that is against teams that are going to just sit back against us because there's going to be a lot of teams this season that just come and realise how attacking we are and just say, right, we're just going to sit back and try and get them on the counter like West Brom kind of did. And I think in this sort of game, at away at St Mary's, and what we've seen of this team so far, even though they kind of rolled over against Hull at Southampton, they they're gonna come to they're gonna want to win that match I think I, I I think even though we're playing as well as we are just the type of team they are and, and if you're pushing on that top ten you've got to be winning your home games even if it is against the likes of Liverpool who are like title were title contenders um, so I think that we've got to play this kind of like just do our job and not take them for granted and so. I say go down the wings. I think that we need to. Ma- I think Mane is going to make a difference in this game, just because he's got. We saw against Arsenal, and he hasn't done it as much since. Obviously, he's been scoring goals, but if he wants to, he can pick that ball up on his own, and he can he can go and score a goal from the halfway line. And I think that this they're going to be quite hard to break down because they're going to be trying to play football. And Romeo is like a proper centre mid he's like a, a proper traditional centre mid in that he can break it up a little bit and pass and move it on he's not he's not uh, to me he's nothing special but I think it's interesting when you get a midfielder in there who makes things tick mm-hmm. he makes a difference yeah. compared to just uh, you, do you know what I mean well, he's, he's picked not, up where Wanyama sort of left I, off as well isn't it that was for me that was their big weakness and, and they already had the play you saw with Leicester's struggle when they've lost Kante there and they've not got anyone in I wouldn't say that he's as ball, a ball winning centre mid like Wanyam is and I know that he's, ta- he's a hard tackler and he's a, he's not a small lad but I wouldn't I think he's got a bit more passing to his game obviously he played in Spain a bit and what Chel- what Chelsea have seen in him Barcelona, so yeah. he did mm. for yeah. the year didn't he without With, being able to that's what I mean so, so I think that he's kind of had a bit of a revolution for himself this season because I think people forget he was at Southampton last, last season, season yeah. And no one had heard of him. And then this season, he's kind of stepped up. Is he 25, 26? I'm not sure how old he's he is. Something, he's, he's kind of... But he's, he's been around a while. I remember see, I, I've seen his name quite a lot, but I've never really followed him. And a couple of games I've watched, he just picks it up, moves it on, hard tackling. So I think it's going to be important for us to just go Do they play the at the back? I don't think so. No, to be no. honest with you. I think they go forward, play, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, they've got good, they've he got do, he good does players. add steel to the team, don't get me wrong. I've, I've looked at him and I've... You know, he stood out for me this season as, you know, just paying attention to decent players yeah. around the league. He's definitely stood out. Um, I do think he'll be more on the 
defensive defensive side yeah, yeah. I reckon so, you're going to see a player there he might be putting in hard tackles he probably might do well winning his battles but I think most of his game is going to just be trying to stop waves and waves of Liverpool attacks well, let's hope so and I think so, so <laughs> that's what I think I don't key, worry key anymore sorry about John, the what's your key man prediction mate um, I'm going to man is a good shout because it, former club exactly well. and so however they might really focus on him because they know him yeah. so well in which case I think Firmino because, and Firmino didn't play and that he'll come back he'll want, he's really going to be up for it so I fucking tend to just go for Firmino a lot I know that but I do see him well he is a get, man yeah, for yeah, exactly and, and he, like I say it doesn't even depend on whether he scores or not it's usually he usually plays a massive role in any goal that is scored so um, if his movement is on it if he's on it, I reckon the rest of the team's on it. Simple as that. So I'll just go for for me, you know. Okay, John, what about your key man, mate? I was going to say Lallana until he picked that knock up yesterday. Um, but I think Matip's height and set plays might play a bit of a thing in this game. So I'll go for him. I definitely will get a goal. Okay. okay. Like I'm going to I'm gonna go for... You, you're not going to see my entire start 11 prediction show. It's, it's, it'll be out on YouTube uh, later today. I'm going to give a little bit of that away. And I'm going to go Daniel Sturridge as our key man in this game I think that you know he scored a goal for England I hope so yeah so, um, I think that Daniel Sturridge is going to start this game I think one of the Brazilians I'm not going to give it away is going to sit out the game although I probably have already given it away <laughs> to, uh, to be honest with you Daniel Sturridge is going to be the key man he's going to be the one getting the goals I tell you what won't happen Lovren will not be getting substituted at half time in this game like last season <laughs> when we were 2 0 up and we lost the game thanks to Sadio Mane um, ok so I want your score predictions I'm going to kick it off. Yeah, you yeah, do it. 3-1 mm. Liverpool, big. Um, I reckon I reckon 2-1. I think we'll... I, I know that people like will be annoyed that we're conceding again, but I kind of feel like it'll get to 2... It'll go 1-0, then second half 2-0, and we'll be like, this is quite comfortable, and in 70 minutes it'll just be some... Just like a crappy little goal, and then we'll kind of see it out, and it'll be all right, and it'll be, we'll be happy with that away at St Mary's. Um, but I just don't think we'll have that that kind of flair that we do coming straight off this international yeah, okay, break that's a fair point. Mm. so I don't think we'll come out like completely gung-ho I think we'll still there'll still be a little bit of like we're a good team when we're playing yeah. alright aren't we and then sometimes Southgate we're playing incredible Southgate will have coached them for a couple of weeks the English yeah. players and they'll have been dumbed down yeah they'll have yeah, been yeah, dumbed yeah, down so I think yeah like. I'll go for 2-1 and I'll take that Johnny what about you mate? Um, I think based on the fact because I, I don't think we're going to let the game really flow if they're on the ball a lot I reckon we'll just be We'll, we'll fuck it up for them. We'll be breaking it up, and and we'll only let any rhythm occur if we're the ones with the ball. And I just think every time we get the ball, if you know, we, it'll always end with the, the phase will always end with an attack, with a shot, and they'll they'll be. I reckon. I reckon we're just too. I'm gonna say two nil because I think it might be tight. I think a lot. It might be a bit messy to be fair. And um, so not a lot of chances. I think we'll do a, a good job and look after their key men, Tadic and Austin. Yeah. And so I, I reckon broken his nose, Tadic as well. So oh, is he? Yeah. 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 So I'm going for a little two nil, like a good yeah. job. So that's what I, that's yeah. what I wanted a couple of weeks ago. Just two nils. Just give me two nils, and I'd be yeah. happy. Like, I'd, I'd rather see a six one. To yeah. be fair, than a two <laughs> yeah. nil. But John, what's your score prediction, man? Um, I'd, I I agree. I think I think the international rust might be. Play a part of it, so I'll say two one. I think Charlie Austin's been in good form for yes, lately. Yeah. So he's, got, he's the English player in the Premier League who scored the most goals as well. I think he's level in all competitions with Theo Walcott on eight. So there you go. There's some fucking stats for you. One Stat thing ten. before we go, I'm going to ask you: Who were the last seven players? to transfer from Southampton to Liverpool and you can go in order so Sam you get the first guess you don't have to do it in order Lovren Lovren was one of them alright Lalana. two Klein three am I going again yeah Mane yeah uh, uh, come on it's a recent one yeah there's another recent one there's loads of recent ones lads. wait who have you just said Mane Klein <laughs> Lalana. Uh, Ricky Lambert yeah. yeah, there Anyone you else? go. Ricky Lambert, that's only five. What'd you say, seven? Seven, yeah. I think I said seven. I hope. I hope. Has anyone yeah, seen yeah. me red notebook? <laughs> I wrote it down, innit? This is seven, not good. Um, Defo upstairs, like. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty spent after that, to be honest. I don't know any of those after that. I'm trying to think of another fucking midfielder. Nah, it'll be a Peter Couch was one of them. Oh, Couchy. 
We've given them 99. Did we sign Crouch from them? Yeah, we've given them 99 million quid over the last few years. I can't remember the seventh, for God's Don't. sakes. This is terrible. Man, this wouldn't happen on Machen's watch. Would it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, apologies, I've got it wrote down on a notepad somewhere. I can't remember. Uh, Let us know what you think and who the last person yeah, is in the comments section. It definitely below. wasn't Matt Letizia. Eh? <laughs> I oh, wish it was, was though. It? Fucking hell. So we've was got it? Kleine, we've got Lovren, we've got Lambert, we've got Crouchy, we've got Mane, we've got Lalana, did we? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Was it Jones to keep it? No, it was the Crouchy was the last one. I fucked this up badly. Let's talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> Crouchy was the me. last one. So tell someone me. in between. Who was the first of this batch? Was it Lovren or oh, Lalana? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Come on, boys. This is terrible. Yeah, Stop yeah. trying to think Come about on. it and start talking Stop. about something else. Yeah. Tell Do me why Daniel Please. Sturridge is going to be the key man. No, no. Why, Just why the fuck doesn't Chris know? Why 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 did he ask us the fucking question? I'm, a fucking dick. I'm not used to sitting in this you know hot I mean? seat and there's big you know. it's a big fucking seat and I've not seen it. This he's was your trial shift. He's gonna be on his way in as soon as he sees this. Gareth Southgate <laughs> against, so against Spain. <laughs> this is ridiculous. You've conceded two goals <laughs> in the last five minutes, Chris. It's been terrible and right. apologies. LFCHistory.net is going particularly slowly. <laughs> <laughs> Right. It's going to be making Marnie, everybody. Klein, Lovren, Lallana, Lambert, say and Crouch. And have you got the other one? Jones was it the seventh? It was supposed to be six. So apologies. <laughs> um, <the> fucking side <laughs> well pulled it on the back there. Well Big time. Si. Paul Jones shout. That's that incredible. Amazing. Do you know what though? If you knew, you should have said it with a bit more conviction. He said As it with your conviction. I shot him down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he shouldn't have let you. That's what I, I mean. That's it. Yeah. Like, but anyway, thank you very much for joining us for the uncensored match build-up show. It's been fantastic. Let us know your thoughts. Been what you think your score prediction is going to be? Who you think is going to score for Chelsea or Middlesbrough in that game to win yourself a share of or the entire twenty-five thousand pounds? If I win it, I will be putting a bet on both teams to score. Uh, Liverpool winning whatever fixture props up next. Uh, thanks very much for joining us and we'll see you after Liverpool demolish Southampton.